Hi everyone, it's Tammy. And I know it's been a while since I so here we go. It's Wednesday evening after Wednesday afternoon after work. It's about four. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up my husband. He works at the new place now, so it's close. And it's kind of nice because if we plan it right, I can just drop him off and then pick him up on the way home. And only one of us has to drive because it's literally on my way. It's right by the new Ikea though, which opened today. So traffic getting there today might be a little crazy. We shall see. There were at six o'clock this morning, a little after six, there were police cars already lined up to take care of traffic and to help with all of that so i know that they're expecting a ton of craziness and <clears throat> it looks as though they're prepared for it so we shall see in just a second <laughs> it's insane and then the new portillo's is right there too so on my vlog that i'm actually posting today i think it may have just posted i um i post i didn't talk about but we had Portillo's and I put pictures of it. It was really, really, really good. And I was not eating well, <clears throat> but it was so tasty. So yeah, <laughs> I did go to my primary care physician today and all was good though. So that's yay. Ooh. Still yawning, sorry about that. Uh, I feel, I think I may have gotten too much sleep last night, which I know is crazy, but, and it's weird too, because today started out at like 67 degrees and now it's 58 degrees, so it's gone down. I don't get it, but it has, and I have on my fall scarf, fall winter scarf, my cool weather scarf. And it feels like I have a blanket wrapped around me. It's very nice. Somebody is riding their bike on the wrong way on the street. That is not a smart thing to do. Riding against traffic. Ooh. And it's kind of spitting rain. I. It's hard to monitor how much to have your windshield wipers when it's this kind of spit. <sighs> and I am sorry that I'm yawning again. So let's see, my vlog that I didn't talk very much on, I'll tell you a little bit about that. We went to Taylor last week for Parents Weekend and we had a ton of fun. It was so nice. We ditched the activities that were planned for us. <laughs> And instead, we just did our own thing. Katie ended up staying with us at the bed and breakfast on Friday night. And we woke up and had breakfast. She had never stayed at a bed and breakfast, so it was really cool for her. And for us, it was a beautiful house. Very nice hostess. The hostess's name is Velvet. I think that's really cool. Um, she said she was a product of the, six, of the 70s and... That's what her mom named her, Velvet Star, with two R's. So, I don't know, in my head, I think that's kind of cool, but I was also a product of the 70s. Um, and I'm going to yawn some more. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Um, it's been a long day. I am tired. Um, so, let's see, what else did we do? So, Saturday after we woke up, we went shopping a little bit. Uh, we just went to the Dollar Tree, spent $70, I think, at the Dollar Tree, and got uh, decorations for Katie's dorm. So then we went back to the dorm room, where we got a subway, we ate there, and then we decorated her dorm. It was really cute, so I put some pictures of that in the last vlog, and then I, or we, went and saw the movie It. It was very good. We'd seen it before, but Katie hadn't seen it, so she wanted to see it, so we did that. And then after that, we went to a new place to eat. It was called Payne's, and her boyfriend, David, had said that it was really good, but we had uh, tried it, and Katie hadn't tried it, 
So we went there and it's like fish and chips. It's kind of an English restaurant. I am so sorry for the yawns. So sorry. Um, and it was really good. Uh, Dennis and I both had fish and chips and Katie had a bean uh, vegan burger and it was good too, she said. And then they gave us some vegan bean dip to start and then Dennis and I with our meal we got a salad or soup and we both picked salad and this salad was phenomenal. It was a cucumber salad with radishes and cilantro and tomatoes and yogurt. Uh, that may have been it. I looked it up. I don't remember the name of it but I did look it up afterward and I wrote down the ingredients and I printed a recipe for it that I found online. So I might make that next week. I, In my Kroger click list, I added the ingredients. So I hope that I will make that next week. There was some spice in it that I couldn't find, at least in this recipe. And there was another spice that I did find, but I'd never heard of before. So kind of excited to try that. And um, so that was Saturday and then Sunday we woke up and uh, we were going to go to church with Katie but it was 1115 service and we really wanted to get back home. So and we had already told, well Dennis had already told his mom that we would stop at her house on the way home. So we ended up stopping at her house and then we didn't get home until about three which was fine but I would have preferred to have gotten home even earlier. But totally sorry about the yawns. I um, I was really missing the animals, and I just wanted to be home if I wasn't going to be with my kid. Um, and Friday, I didn't tell you this, but I we met David's parents, which was really cool. We just briefly met them. They had they had gotten there before we did, and uh, they took the kids to eat. And then when we got there around seven, we were gonna take Katie to eat because she had said to wait for her. So <laughs> we ended up taking her and David to a different place to eat. And they just got like appetizer to eat, but it was still a lot of fun to talk to them. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to meet his parents and kind of get to know them a little bit, even though it was just very brief. It just didn't work out this time, but I'm sure there will be another time that we can meet them, and they are great people. Um, and what else? the biggest. Now here we are in traffic and I think that this might be Ikea traffic but I'm not positive. I might flip you guys around so that you guys can see what I'm seeing. Okay so that was not Ikea traffic that way. There's a police officer there. Overflow parking for Ikea is in this church. There's a police officer over there. The speed limit is 35 and I'm only going 25. I guess I should speed up a little. Um, so yeah, I don't know if like some of these people came from Ikea. Or what. Oh, there's an Aviant right there. This is where my husband works, so. I need to turn. Wow, I don't know if I should maybe go home a different way or try to go home that way. I guess we shall see. But um, yeah, since I'm here to pick up him, I guess I will let you guys go and I will talk with you all soon. And I'm sorry that it's been a while for the vlog. It's just, you know, when it's crazy busy for me, it's hard for me to do this. So I will try to do it more often and more consistently. But thanks for watching guys and I will talk with you soon. Bye bye.